Good morning, time for another episode. Um, so, I figured after all the storm craziness behind me, uh, this is just a little bit of the damage that has happened uh, after our latest winter storm. I'd go over, um, I thought it was the perfect time to go over uh, axe handles and uh, kind of like axe restoration services from R. Lambranched, I think that I'm pronouncing that right, R. Lambranched Axe Works. Um, Absolutely phenomenal guy uh, out of, I believe, Boston. He makes amazing, amazing axe handles. Does uh, good work with uh, axe restorations. I have a whole bunch here. Um, so let's start with, start small. This is one of his standard line hatchet handles. Um, absolutely awesome, love his logo. Um, this is probably the only one that I have where the grain alignment isn't 100% ideal. I'm not going to say perfect, but ideal. It's more of a 45 degree angle. Uh, but awesome, awesome handle. Uh, we'll get up to some larger sizes. Uh, I really love this that he put together for me. So I told him that I wanted, I think, like one and a half to one and three quarters. Uh, pound head uh, and I wasn't sure the handle length. This is actually a hatchet. I believe this is an 18 inch handle kind of a French pattern. It is uh, red oak. Uh, he makes handles out of red oak, white oak, hickory, and ash that I know of. I don't know if he makes other ones uh, but this is absolutely phenomenal. It feels really great in the hand. This palm swell is awesome. The grain alignment is 100% perfect. This was I believe hand carved by him. Uh, and we have a um, hickory wedge in here. Oh, hickory, if I didn't mention hickory as a handle type. Um, absolutely awesome. Came insanely sharp. Uh, the bit is super thin. The finish on the edge was a bit rough, so I just kind of smoothed it out. Um, and I'm sure he can do a better job, but it was just kind of like a probably just a rough job on this. I didn't really give him any specifications for the head. So I have this one that he's that he hung on this handle, which is phenomenal. I have this one, which is a boy's axe. Hopefully this fits in the frame. Uh, it is a uh, banco head, setter banco. It's a Swedish head, uh, about two pounds, two and a half maybe pounds head on a 28 inch handle, hickory. I love the bit of heartwood here. Uh, almost straight alignment, uh, not quite 45, not quite straight, right in between for grain alignment, but absolutely awesome. A um, oak wedge in this one, so he did a great job. This is probably my favorite axe right now that I own. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. This baby was a custom built one for me. I said I wanted a nice thin handle. Uh, a little bit of a palm swell, kind of like a Grand's first. Um, and this one has straight up and down alignment, a little bit of heartwood here. Um, this has a, uh, I believe, a three to three and a half pound felling head on it. It's a 30 inch handle. I hung this one myself. I think it came out really, really nice. Uh, real quick. Um, this is a 20 inch cruiser handle that he made up for me with great grain alignment. Uh, hung this one. Uh, sheath was done by Red Nose Leather. Oh yeah, how I found this guy uh, was through Red Nose Leather. So big shout out to Red Nose Leather. Awesome guy. Um, that's how I found somebody to make custom handles um, and that sold high quality handles. I had a lot of trouble uh, finding high quality handles from like house handles or beaver tooth handles or some other ones. There's a few other decent guys out there, but um, house handles I did not like. Beaver tooth handles, they're just kind of chunky. House handles are really chunky. Um, and I'm just gonna grab a few extra ones here. Uh, this is a 28 inch straight he made me for an ax that I'll be hanging. Um, a octagonal 26 inch um, double bit for a cruiser. A 23 inch curvy 
axe handle, kind of French style. This will be for like my small forest axe uh, equivalent. And then I'll just grab this one. I have, still have more over here. A octagonal curve, uh, curved single bit, which I'm not sure what I'm going to hang on this yet, but this thing is absolutely awesome. Um, so he has a standard line of axes. I'm going to put um, of axes of handles. I'm going to put a link in the description to his Etsy. Uh, he's also on Instagram, R Lamb Branch Axe Works. Um, he, if you need something custom, contact him. Uh, if he if he doesn't have something there, uh, he'll definitely work with you. He has great pricing. Um, he has three lines, from what I remember, of like a budget economy, then. Um, and that might be like the budget economy standard stuff, uh, and then premium, and then custom. Uh, custom is pretty much whatever you want. You send him your item, the dimensions of the eye, uh, and he'll whip something up for you. Uh, absolutely great guy. Sends tons of photos. Uh, went back and forth with me a lot from previous handles that he made, saying, "Hey, you know, this is the shape. Do you want the foot like this or the foot like this? How do you want it?" So, absolutely excellent guy to work with. Uh, I'm going to give you guys uh, some shots of the grain alignment on these handles, um, just to give you an idea, and then I have some footage of me chopping with uh, three of the axes that are hung. Alright, hopefully you can see this, this is that 26-inch, uh, uh, 20, sorry, 28-inch boy's axe. Uh, so this is the grain alignment on this end, which is absolutely awesome. Um, I know people say there shouldn't be heartwood and handles, but I don't think it, this little bit is going to really help hurt it at all. Um, it a feels absolutely awesome in the hand. Nothing I would change. This is the uh, grain alignment in the 30 inch, um, three and a half pound Kelly True Temper, or no, Kelly Flint Edge, I believe. Um, this is absolutely perfect grain alignment. Uh, again, super com comfortable axe, really awesome. Not a single thing I think I would want to change in these handles. And this is the um, plum. Um, I think it's a, like a rafting pattern. Um, the 18 inch hatchet. Uh, absolutely phenomenal spot on grain alignment. Um, you can definitely tell that Ryan is super passionate about this with just the quality of the work that he provides. Um, I haven't had a single issue with any of these. Thanks. So these are the other handles that Ryan has done for me. These are all of them. So I'll just give you a quick look. A really nice long 36 inch double bit. 
So one thing I forgot to mention was Ryan does give a lifetime warranty, I believe with the premium and custom ones. Now what that really means is uh, against, I guess, uh, I definitely know breakage, but not breakage by hard use, but breakage by age, by splitting out. Um, not necessarily I took it and I split, you know, really gnarly red oak and I didn't overstrike and busted my handle. I don't think he's going to cover that. Um, but if you're using it and the handle does break under normal conditions, then I believe he'll work with you to make you a new handle. Um, and then I, I would hope that he's also warranting against uh, warpage and twist and twisting of the handles. Um, so anyway, absolutely, absolutely phenomenal handles. Uh, the only handles I really want to own. Uh, so go ahead, go over, check at, check them out. Um, shoot him a message if you don't see what you're looking for. He also offers restored axes, um, and it has a huge selection of heads. So just message him, uh, tell him what you're looking for, or, um, send him a picture and ask him if he has anything like that. Super reasonable guy. Um, one of the one of the best guys I've worked with uh, so if you guys like this video and you want to see more like it uh, please make sure to subscribe uh, make sure to like and share thank you